So here we have function h of x, and we know that h of x is f of g. g is the inside function, and we know it, but we don't know the outside function. That's what we're going to find. We're going to find f. So let's find a way to rewrite h. And when you see 4x squared here, and you see 2x here, hopefully you realize that in some way we must have squared g. So let's figure out what g squared is. g squared would be 2x plus 1 quantity squared, and that would be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So let's think of h as 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 plus 6. We have to get that 7 in there, so we need 1 and 6 to give us 7. And now we can rewrite that perfect trinomial square as 2x plus 1 quantity squared, and then we have the plus 6. So if we think of h in this way, we can see the inside function g is 2x plus 1, and the outside function must be then what we get when we square that and then add 6. So f of x is x squared plus 6. For part b, we have a similar situation where we have a function h of x, and now we know the outside function f, but we don't know the inside function g. That's what we have to figure out. So what we want to do is work on h and get it to look more like this, 3 times something plus 5. So if we change h a little bit by factoring out a 3, we have 3 times x squared plus x plus 2. Well, we need that to be plus 5 on the end, not plus 2. So we need to add another 3. But how can we just add 3? We can't just add 3 unless we also subtract 3. So what I'm going to do is incorporate this minus 3 into the inside of the parentheses in some way. So if I write it as 3 times the quantity x squared plus x minus 1, and then the 2 plus 3 on the outside is going to be plus 5. Here we have our minus 3 on the inside, compensating for our extra plus 3 on the outside. So we have 3 times the quantity x squared plus x minus 1 plus 5. That is h of x, rewritten in a different form. Now that matches with our f of x, 3 times something plus 5. So that's something on the inside. That must be our g. So g of x is x squared plus x minus 1.